What an actor needs to know before they walk in the door for an audition is exactly, and I mean exactly what is required of them at that audition. One of the many common mistakes that I see at auditions is actors not being prepared and not knowing what everybody wanted to see in the audition. And for example, of they didn't know they had to learn a song from that musical, or they didn't know there were two sides, they only thought there was one. And it, it's a strike against you. In a theatrical situation, you walk in and the audition starts and everybody behind the table gets to see you walk in the door and they get to meet you and then you're acting with your hands and your feet and your whole body and they're visualizing and they're imagining and you know it's a whole like real date. A film audition, you're auditioning just for the camera and then I'm sending the tape to a director or a producer or a writer so they don't meet you. They don't see any of that kind of energy, they just see the audition. From the moment that we met, I've been deeply in your debt. I think when choosing a song, it's important to try to find a song that tells a story and that really has a beginning, middle, and end so that it feels complete and not just something about notes. I think it's important also for actors to realize that they need to sing the lyrics. Glory in the eyes of a young girl. It is a piece of writing and not just a piece of singing. Another helpful hint when auditioning for film or television and it involves the camera, that's a situation where you just have to learn the lines so that you can stay on track the entire time and really play to the camera or play to the reader because the camera is watching your eyes the whole time. The minute you have to look down to look at your sides, you're dropping out of the scene. I think when looking for a monologue, it's probably important to have something in your repertoire that speaks to you. Again, that has a beginning, middle, and end, and it probably has some sort of emotional connection. So that in that little bite, you can show the casting people that you can tap into your emotions. I think when you're doing a cold reading, it's tricky because you have no time to prepare and you have no time to really know what's going on. So what do you do? And I always try to say to an actor at a cold reading, you gotta make a quick choice at the top. Make a relationship choice, make a passionate choice. Just make some sort of choice that's gonna make me involve myself in watching you, whether or not it's right for the character or not because everybody knows you don't know the character. If an actor does the best audition, the first thing I do, whether they get cast in that part or not, is to write the seven other things that we should be seeing them for. So it's not about whether or not they get that particular role that they're coming in for, it's about doing the best audition possible because that's how they're gonna get into my catalog or my memory so that then I start bringing them in for everything I'm casting. And that happens all the time. I meet a new actor and then all of a sudden they're living here for a month because I can't wait to get them a job. So that's how they're gonna get my attention is by doing a great audition. Mm -hmm.